Well, yesterday did not develop as I was hoping. <laughs> and as you can tell, we are still in hospital. Ealing's asleep behind me. At the moment, her pulse is around 120, which is really nice. Not that you can see it because we got the IV drip right there, but she's sleeping. And that means that she's currently not fitting. She's not had a good day and night. It's been really, really, really rough for her. And I'm gonna try and, and explain what has happened. I'm not gonna try and answer your questions because quite frankly, the answer to all of your questions is we don't know. Why is she having seizures? We don't know. What is triggering them this time? We don't know. How can we treat them? We don't know. Sorry. I wish I wish I knew. I wish I had a better answer, but I really don't. Um yeah, so I brought her in. Um I brought her in uh, just before eight o'clock yesterday morning and it is now just before nine o'clock, so we've been in for a little over twenty-four hours. You know, in a good good mood, good state, uh clearly having seizures, but not, you know, no disasters. She was given a second dose of Bokul Medazolam. When I'm, what I mean by second was I gave her a dose of Bokul the night before, so pr practically 12 hours before she'd had Bokul, and that's when we were at home and she was sleeping well that night, and then she was fitting again in the morning, as you saw in the last video. Yes, we gave her a second dose of Bokul. That did not do a damn thing. It did nothing. Nada. Zilch. Nothing. <laughs> Like, we might as well have just put some water in her mouth. That's how effective that was. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we tried to get a cannula into her and get bloods for blood tests. Uh, we managed to get bloods for blood tests. We didn't manage to get a cannula in at that point. And then Eileen kind of goes, right, well, you know you know what I'm like when I'm seizing. I'm going to throw up uncontrollably. I'm not going to keep anything down. Um, I, I gave her her morning medicines, and that just all came up. And once that was up, we were on to what is commonly referred to as coffee ground vomit. And that is when um, you, you, it's, it's, she's throwing up blood. <laughs> there is no nice way of putting it. She's vomiting blood. It's not fresh blood, thankfully. Um, but it means that the lining inside of her is, is so just messed up from all of the vomiting. So it's not good. It's not good. My poor munchkin. Oh, yeah, you've seen me in hospital before, right? <laughs> I bring coffee. Yeah, so we tried then a third dose. Hang on. Mum, have you been offered breakfast? I just heard through the door here. Oh, they look after me at this hospital. It's really nice. Where the crap was I? We gave her a third dose of Bokul Medazolam and that one worked. So again, she got a few hours of sleep. She got a break from the seizures. That actually looked pretty good. Um, I was really happy. And then she woke up and um, no. <laughs> Just no, we were no longer good. We were full on ELN, non-stop seizures, non-stop vomiting, really, really stressed, high pulse, rapid, shallow breathing, um, oxygen sat dipping. Yeah, just just the full eolinitis, as I call it, because we we don't know what's causing it. And now she's, uh, you hear the um, monitor beeping in the background, that's her pulse going up above 150 beats per minute again, and that means she's having seizure activity again. Oh, my poor baby. Eileen. Hey, darling. She then went on to have, <coughs> hang on, here she is, here is my little munchkin, I'm gonna say hi, no I'm not feeling well say, I'm really not feeling well. She then went on to have a couple of really really nasty and scary turns yesterday, uh, things that I've not seen before. So. I'm here with oxygen mask and suction because she keeps throwing up and she keeps kind of choking on it and her oxygen sats keep dipping. 
and obviously she's fitting a lot and um, uh, the nurse came in just as I had the oxygen on and she went and she sort of asked um, what her sats were doing and I said well she dipped down to 86 and she said what 26 and I said no if she dips down to 26 I promise you I'm gonna scream heck if she's dipping down to 76 I'm going to scream ha 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 you know this was really funny joke nurse left the room Ellen sats dropped to 70 I pulled the emergency button I've never had cause to pull the emergency button on my little child before, but I did, and I'm very pleased to say that it did not take particularly long for the room to be shock full of people. <laughs> and uh, we got a higher pressure oxygen mask on her, and uh, we had quite a lot of observations being done very, very quickly. I don't actually know precisely what equipment was what, that was brought in. Um, but there was there was a lot of stuff and there was a lot of equipment and there was a lot of stuff happening all of a sudden so you know <laughs> great with new experiences yay new games <sighs> but she stabilized and her sats went up again after that so okay you know good we are we're, we're on the right way uh, then we tried something called phenytoin loading and she's had that done a couple of times before uh, so she got the phenytoin, but instead of stopping seizing, she went into massive spasms, bent over backwards, screeching, um, pulling her face. <coughs> okay, baby. Okay, darling. Pulling her face into a really nasty grimace. Hang on, I need some uh, suction on her. So she had this, just this really nasty kind of <coughs> spas. I mean, I'm trying to record her. She's just interrupting me. That's just rude. Mm. Really nasty spasms. And I've not seen her, like I've seen her react like that when she's choking and she's properly full on choking. I've seen her react like that, but I've not seen her react like that to a medicine before. So that, um, yeah, that just wasn't great. And I still don't know if that was a reaction to phenytoin. She has had phenytoin before and not reacted, but this time she reacted. I got some of it on video, which I'm happy about so I can show the doctors. Um, and we're just gonna have to assess and review. <sighs> yeah, and now we are back to waiting for answers that we're not gonna get. We're, we're trying to find out, but we're not going to find out, basically. I have requested a chest x-ray. I think she needs one, particularly with her sats going up and down as much as they do. Um, but that didn't happen yesterday. Not an awful lot happened yesterday. One thing that did happen yesterday was that medical mama got her <coughs> on and um, uh, had a bit of a word because she... <sighs> She's so bad with cannulas, so obviously we've managed to get a cannula in and she pulled that one out. She pulled that one out during that strange episode after the phenytoin. And the doctors were told and then nothing happened. So she went without a cannula for five hours, which meant that for five hours she didn't have IV fluids and she most importantly did not have any of her bloody medicines, including, you know, all of her seizure medicines. I got a bit, I, I got a bit grumpy. And in the end, it wasn't actually a doctor who fitted the cannula. It was a nurse who was trained outside of the UK and therefore knows how to fit cannulas. Because it's, it's weird that here in the UK, the doctors do it, because pretty much everywhere else that I know of, it's the nurses who do it. Uh, so she came in and she got the cannula in um, 
actually second second attempt woohoo so we'll have her back i might just request her next time give, give me give me her she knows how to do this mm. yeah i wasn't best impressed and then it took another oh i don't get some damn medicine prescribed yeah mm. so um they know by now they shouldn't mess with me and then, one one of the doctors came in and I went, I've given her Clobosam and they went, what? Why? And I said, because I have the Clobosam and it was the one thing I was able to give her. <sighs> anyway, anyway, so it's morning. Uh, I have had some sleep. Eileen has had some sleep. Dad's going to uh, swap with me in around an hour-ish. Uh, he is actually off to have his seasonal flu jab in half an hour and he's coming after that. Alice is at her theater school this morning. Uh, one of our friends gave her a ride there. Village, the village comes together when things are in crisis. Um, and then Alice and I are actually gonna go and see some friends. So uh, it should be, should be good afternoon. It should be good afternoon and good day. And then just, yeah, for me and Alice, Rob and Eileen are gonna be miserable here in hospital, but what can you do? But I think the fact that she's actually coming out of the seizures occasionally and getting a bit of rest occasionally is a good sign. And uh, I've given her Clobosam and Baclofen through her Mickey button this morning. And um, Okay. I will update you when I know more. Thank you so much. Bye.